come come closer. I'm happy uh, for this fight. Uh, she doesn't deserve to fight for the title, but of course she is very good fighter. I have so much respect for her. She's team number one. Uh, I'm the champ, so she's just just behind me. She's a contender, so I respect her, uh, respect her as a as a fighter. She. She's a black belt jiu-jitsu, few times world champion, but when we step into the octagon, there is just a fight, you know, and I, I know that I am a champion and I will prove to, uh, to her and her team that I won the first fight and I'm I going to win this fight, you know. Out of any opponent in your career, is she the one you've sort of had the biggest rivalry with? Uh, you guys had one of the biggest stare-downs yesterday compared to anyone at the press conference. You know, like, the, I like Brazilians so much. I've got so many fans. My manager is from Brazil. I used to go to Brazil for uh, last UFC there, but uh, I, I couldn't. But uh, I cannot wait when I will go to Brazil and I'm going to see my fans. But the thing is, like, we Polish and, and Brazilians, we are very, like, uh, very character people, you know, so uh, the face offs must be like this, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And being on The Ultimate Fighter, you, it's obviously pre taped. Has it been tough trying to keep, uh, you know, not being able to talk about things that happen on the show because the UFC is not letting you uh, say things, right? To spoil it. Yeah, it was an amazing show, like amazing six weeks at the, at the top gym. So I'm very happy that uh, I took part. Uh, yeah, I saw Claudia almost every day, and on the beginning, for the first two, three weeks, uh, we had some, we had some uh, better or worse stories. Uh, but the thing is, like, it was pretty good season for all of us. For me, for her, uh, nobody uh, got killed and, and and beat up, so it was okay. Were you surprised that she threw, uh, took some swings at you at the stare down? Uh, no, I think she, she lost the fight already. You have a way of getting into your opponent's head. Uh, what is it that you think that it is that you do that gets under their skin that way? No, when, when they're, they're gonna beat some who gonna beat me, of course, gonna gonna get my respect. But the thing is, they're all just talking, you know, like Claudia was talking about her, her uh, perfect wrestling, Jessica Penne. She's supposed to throw me and, and finish me or other other things. The Valerie, she was kind of tough. She was throwing the, the high kicks, but she was kind of confused uh, because I sleep and I was I, I was sleeping all the time and she, she couldn't reach me and she got confused. But they all are just talking, you know, Claudia, she talks a lot and I hate this, you know, just step into the octagon and prove what you've got, you know, and this is what I am doing, you know. What was it like coaching on the show? Uh, is obviously something a bit different for you, not uh, you know coaching people in, in your everyday life. Yeah, coaching is pretty difficult, difficult thing. You know, I before the sh the show, I decided that I gonna be for the fighters. I gonna be uh, as a coach, but also as a teammate, a friend for them. Uh, I brought very good uh, trainers, uh, my assistant coaches, uh, two of my head coaches from Poland, Robert Reisel, uh and some other uh, Muay Thai coach, Daniel. So. We did pretty good team, you know, and sometimes I was coaching, but most most of the time I was trying to look at them, uh, try to help them, you know. Like this season was was really nice. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Did you work with Marcelo Garcia as well? Because Dylan Danis was in Las Vegas. Was he involved in your coaching team as well? Was he in the gym? Was he just there checking out? Say again. Dylan Danis. Dylan Danis. Yeah, he, he, he was uh, doing some seminar in Vegas. Uh, I've been training with him at Drysdale. Uh, it's, a, it's a good guy, you know, good fighter, good jiu-jitsu fighter. He's very young, very talented, one of the biggest uh, jiu-jitsu prospects, you know, so I, I'm very happy. How difficult is it for you to see Claudia every single day, you know, as a fighter? Does it make you want to hurt her more when after dealing with her all those days? That's a good question, you know. You know, I'm happy that I could see her almost every day, that I could face her for a few times before before the fight. It's still a long time to fight, but but I was happy, you know. I, I got more energy, I am more motivated for this fight, you know, and I, I just want to train really hard for this fight. It's like extra motivation for me. Judging from the fans' reactions yesterday, it seems like you've become a very popular champion in a short period of time. Why do you think you're so popular? What made that happen? Am I? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Oh, so maybe. So thank you guys. But you know, I'm trying to be myself all the time. You know, I, I'm showing you really Joanna. You know, maybe on the beginning I was quiet, but I didn't want wanted to be like in the first line. You know, now everyone is trying to uh, act like Conor McGregor, but I was always like this. When you're gonna see my first press conference, I said some good stuff to to Carla as well. You know, so I've been this way all the time. But I know that I cannot just my opponents get get in to my head, you know what I mean, so, yeah, I'm like this, you know, and I'm happy, I'm enjoying my life, enjoying that, that I'm, I'm part of UFC, and, uh, you know, I've been fighting for small money, I've been fight, fighting on this, on small shows, but I'm happy that I can, I can be part of UFC, I can be UFC champ, make some money, and, uh, you know, fighting still my passion and hobby. You also did some pictures, like, you know, Like you know, I call myself Miss Sporty, you know, I like kicks, I like jeans and it's my style. I'm not gonna, of course, I like, sometimes I like to wear a dress or high heels and put stronger makeup, but you know, I'm not gonna do this for, for people because they want me to be like this, you know, there is no perfect people who are gonna say that the models are the perfect because wear high heels and dresses isn't true, you know, I feel my, I feel very good in my skin and uh, with my kicks on <laughs> and I feel like I am 100% a woman, you know, and my fiancé agree with that and I'm very happy, you know? I'm, I'm very lucky and happy woman. But how did you feel like, because you were very sexy in some of the pictures, you know, how did you feel like doing those kinds of pictures? I'm sexy every day, that's all. <laughs> so I didn't feel any different.